Well, if you think, if you agree with the Amartya Sen definition of development, that development is the sort of freedoms to be and to do, citizenship is both a part of the freedom to be, that is, you can actively express your views and expect people to listen, you can organise with your fellows if you have a joint demand, and you can take part in politics and become part of that social contract with the state. Um, but also citizenship is a really vital part of the doing bit. So when, yeah, if you're going to do health or education, citizen involvement can improve the quality and the equity of those services. So citizenship is in everything. Um, you want people to participate, you want people to, um, to feed back on how things are working. Well, I think what you've seen in the last 20, 30 years is an upsurge in citizen action. You know, um, most of the big political changes that have taken place in the, that period have involved a high level of citizen mobilization. But you also see some more worrying things, which is um, a sort of clamping down on civil society by 50 governments over the last few years, according to the Car Carnegie Endowment uh, in a recent paper. And that's about preventing them getting funding, preventing them uh, doing advocacy, working on human rights, working on women's rights, narrowing them down, shutting them down their space. And that's really worrying because just, you want this upsurge in civil society to keep going and you don't want governments to shut it down. I see there's lots of examples from around the world of how the state can empower citizens to begin with, you know, um, through everything from birth registrations to supporting freedom of association to accountability and transparency. So all those sort of basic things about how the state behaves towards citizens are really important. Um, I think outsiders can help create the spaces where the states and citizens can work together. So I think that's one of the roles for aid, one of the roles for international NGOs is, is when it's getting people who are who want to solve a problem whether they're in the state or in civil society or in the private sector into a room and helping them find answers together and that's increasingly how we see our role in the international NGO sector is actually convening people local players citizen state and others to solve problems Unless they're prevented from it, undoubtedly, yes. I mean, the first thing you notice when you work in development is how much uh, is the energy, the creativity, the dynamism of people living in poverty. So in order to keep them poor, the system has to really work against them because they have a lot of ways of doing things and, and improving their lives. So you're trying to remove the obstacles um, and enable them to express what they want and get what they want through empowerment seems to be what, what this whole thing is about.